It's time for another new edition of Taste of the Town. And with just a week to go until Thanksgiving Day, it is time to start thinking about the menu, right? Yeah, that's right. Many of us, not including me, have the actual <laughs> turkey recipe down pat, but we're stuck on the side dishes. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo went to Naomi's Grill on Sunny Isles Beach for some tropically inspired ideas. It's Chef Curtis Jance's Thanksgiving Day table of side dishes here at Naomi's Grill on Sunny Isles Beach, a warm and inviting eatery serving contemporary Florida cuisine with a Miami twist. We asked the award-winning chef to think outside the traditional turkey day menu and give us some creative ideas for sensational side plates. We begin in the kitchen where Chef is preparing what he calls Seminole Succotash. One of the premier dishes back, you know, in the beginning of Thanksgiving was Succotash. You know, uh, Succotash was the three sisters. It had beans, it had uh, corn, and it had squash. So a lot of those ingredients are already indigenous to South Florida and, you know, with the Latin cultures, the Haitian cultures, etc. So I'm just doing a variation of Succotash today. He starts with a touch of garlic and onion, then adds Florida sweet corn, lima beans to add color and texture, fresh tomatoes, chopped scallions. It sautés fresh and fat. And that's the simplicity of it right there. Wow, that's a beautiful thing. Nice color, right? Next, we move to the roasted corn chowder with calabaza squash instead of the traditional butternut squash. We just sweat down a little bit of onions, just a touch of garlic. We don't want a lot of garlic bite in there. Uh -huh. And then we cook the, the calabaza down there until okay. it's really, really tender. It almost made like a pumpkin bisque, if you will. Okay. Smoothed it out, roasted the corn, and then folded the corn in there, a touch of cream in the end. He adds the squash he roasted, then chives, and finally... Cream fresh to add that little uh, creaminess. To never the, hurts. Never hurts. Next, candied calabasa squash with Haitian rum sauce topped with macadamia nut strudel. I don't think we represent the Haitian cuisine as much, and there's a lot of great flavors because it comes from that, that African Caribbean vibe that, that really fits our, our culture as well, you know? And what is America but a melting pot? That's right, <laughs> especially Florida. Inside the restaurant, it's time to sample the sides. First, that Seminole succotash. There's a lot of flavor in that dish. I like, you know, the black beans aren't, aren't typical in the dish, and I really like the earthiness the black beans give to it. I totally agree, and then, you know, there's a lot of texture in it. Onto the roasted corn chowder. I mean, that is just love right there in a bowl. A lot of people want to puree the corn, but I like the texture of the corn. It has texture, and then there's a sweetness. It's coming mm -hmm. from where? From the squash. And finally, that candied calabasa squash with rum raisin sauce. It's like a dessert. Wow. It really is. I mean, that's a kid-friendly side dish. It's like you're having some sort of pie. Naomi's Grill, serving up local flavors with a twist at Thanksgiving and throughout the year. So Naomi's Grill is open every day, breakfast and dinner, and as for Thanksgiving? As well, brunch and dinner. All right, and you can make this yourself because we're going to tell them, go on to our website at cbsmiami.com for the recipes from Chef Curtis, and happy Thanksgiving, one happy and Thanksgiving. all. Thanksgiving. In Sunny Isles Beach, I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News. And Naomi's Grill is, me too, <laughs> is located at 18001 Collins Avenue in Sunny Isles Beach. And, you know, the, the, the typical Thanksgiving side dishes are really nice, but you kind of mix it up every once in a while. Yeah, so have especially a little here local in South flavor. Florida. I would be so excited to see any one of those dishes on the table.